Hey there, Supernatural fans. Thanks so much for tuning into our channel. We're talking about episode 12 of the last season of Supernatural, Galaxy Brain. Well, I just, I'm, I hate all the breaks. <laughs> I don't want to come out the gate being negative, but I hate all the breaks from Supernatural that we've had this season. We'll probably have more now that the coronavirus is going on. And I just want them to get into the heart of the show. I feel like this is a tour, if you will, of all the side characters that we've met throughout uh, some of our Supernatural experience. And I could care less <laughs> about that. I really could. I care more about Castiel, Sam, Dean, Jack. Jody's cool. We got to see Jody in this episode. You know, but like Kaya is a character that I thought was important and valuable when she was a part of, you know, the flow of things. But then they kind of dropped her storyline and I knew, I just had a feeling that they would bring her back somewhere, some way. And then we find out that the other Kaya in the other alternate universe that was supposed to be dead, you know, they left her in the alternate universe, she's supposed to be dead, is actually alive. Typical of everything with Supernatural, if you're dead, you're you're not dead, you're really alive, and you're gonna just, you know, find out five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe six seasons later, this person's actually alive. Everything is just all over the place. If they would have stuck with Kaya's character, and, you know, I, I understand that there might be a few episodes where Kaya won't be in it, but I just, I, I lose sight of what actually ended up happening, and I have to, like, rack my brain the entire time I'm watching the episode. Okay, what was the storyline again? I'm like, how did this happen? I mean, I kind of get the gist of it, but, like, uh, I, I was already done with her, you know what I mean? And then God is talking about all the different alternate universes that he has, different Sam and Deans, which I don't even like that anyways in the first place. It's just, I'm never a big fan of the alternate universes, especially when there's multiple besides just one or two. It just gets confusing. So he's going to demolish all of the alternate universes, which I don't think they should have even had all the alternate universes in the first place. So there was no real major point about it. Because guess what? Bobby came back out of it, right? And where's Bobby? Nowhere to be found. This new Kaya character who came out really badass, right? She was really, really cool and really unique and like, she had this cool sword and all this stuff. I mean, they didn't really develop that character all that much for me to truly even care what's going on with her. And so that came out of the alternate universe, gone. I mean, they closed that storyline. It, it should have only been like three or four episodes and then close it and then we're done. Instead of putting it on hold and then bringing it back and then closing it when we're this close to the very end of the final season. And then we had, um, who else? I don't even know. Like, Luce, the whole storyline with Lucifer in the alternate universe was semi-interesting and Mary, and then that was dropped. The alternate universe was pointless, so let's get rid of it. But how many episodes do we have left now? And we haven't even really gotten to the heart or the core of fighting with God. We have these little things called no see here in Florida, and it's so annoying because you don't see them, and they land on you, and then they take a chunk out of you, and they bite you, and it hurts and then you're itching for the rest of the day, which is exactly what's happening to me right now. For example, another person is Garth, and I talked about this in one of my prior episodes. I liked Garth, but I wasn't in love with Garth, and I would have done just fine not knowing what Garth was doing for the rest of my life, you know? So I did want to talk about that for a second. You know, the characters that I do enjoy seeing, and I'd love for you guys to make a list too, like which characters are the most important that you want to see growth and development and more storyline with them. Okay, obviously Sam, Dean, Castiel, Jack, and Jack was gone forever, okay? Bobby, if you're gonna bring Bobby back, I mean, my goodness, let's have more Bobby, the new Bobby, the Bobby from the alternate universe. I wanna see more Bobby. God, of course, Amara, where's Amara? I'd love to see her, you know? I'd like to see her flip things around. Why is she not even showing up here? If she shows up at the very end, I might be semi-satisfied, but I'd like to see more of Amara. And then the last is Adam, and Adam only showed up for a little bit with his Michael moments, and now he's gone. I, I don't care about Kaya. <laughs> Maybe I cared about Kaya when she first showed up. I don't care anymore. <laughs> and then why make her so awesome and then just drop that storyline? And that's kind of what I was talking about in some of my other episodes, is just that they come up with really, really great ideas, and then they drop them. I'm just frustrated you know maybe not kill Mary off so soon 
let's keep Mary around for a little bit. She's another character that's extremely valuable. Of course, she's gone now. Um, Crowley, we loved Crowley, but we did get Jack, and Jack was a special addition. So Lucifer is always, the guy that plays Lucifer is amazing. You know, maybe not drop that so soon. Gabriel, loved Gabriel. That was a person that I'd like to see more of. Kevin Tran, I'd like to see more of him. Um, Rowena, I'd like to see more of Rowena. Like those are the type of characters I wish that they would just have developed more with them, kept them on the team much longer up here in the end. Those are the heavy hitters. Not Garth, not random Kaya, come on. And then I know they always have to have those silly episodes in between. So you're killing me. So we get to see Jody. That's a bonus. I love Jody. Oh, another one is Claire. Claire's important. I'd love to see more of Claire. Claire's a valuable character. She has played a great part in Supernatural, I feel like. She's relevant and her relationship with Castiel is, is very special. I, they're upsetting me. <laughs> I didn't really enjoy this episode very much. I loved having Jack back, obviously. I loved seeing Jody. But can you believe, on a side note, that Jody and Castiel have never met? I was like, what? And I think that's a problem. How did we not know that? How did we all miss that? Or maybe it was just me. How did I miss that? <laughs> I'm going to blame myself. How did I miss that? I feel like I'd like to see more episodes that have real depth in them with getting down to the end of God's existence. We find just a little bit more information of where he might be vulnerable in different places, but yet they're not getting to the nitty gritty of taking him down. Why? Why, writers of Supernatural, is it too hard? Is it too complicated? Is it too much work? What is going on? I will be happy that there's no more alternate worlds, so I'm gonna say thank you to God for that, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Jack doesn't have a soul, yet he acts like he has a soul, doesn't he? I mean, he really, really had sympathy, empathy, and a real deep care for what was happening to Kaya, and he wanted to offer help, so much so that he actually did grab a set of cojones, and uh, what was her name, Merle? who was stepping in for Billy at the time, you know, they're always trying to manipulate him. And I feel like at this point, Jack's like, yeah, no. Okay, you're gonna do what I say right now. And if you run back to Billy and you tattle, you'll meet your own demise. I was glad that he did that. And it was a little sad that Merle went ahead and did try to help and Billy ended up just rid ridding us of her. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> Sayonar Merle, you were a little too feisty for my taste anyway. You were talking bad about my Winchester brothers, and I am not okay with that. So we end the episode with Billy letting us know that God has a book too, and that he has an ending as well. And so we're left a little bit wondering what that's all about, and how our Winchester brothers, including Mr. Jack himself, are going to move forward with this information. Basically, I got on my soapbox a little bit. You all know how I feel about this episode. I wasn't very happy about it. What did you guys think? I really love Castiel and I love Sam and Dean and I absolutely adore Jack. I absolutely adore him and I think that they're making a big mistake by not delving into these characters and how they are going to truly attack God. They keep toying with us, they keep playing with us, but there really is nothing happening here. There is nothing happening. They are getting distracted. They have A, D, D. A-D-D. -D. Supernatural has A-D-D. -D. So anyways, you guys, I am going to say sayonara here. <laughs> Sorry for all the negativity, but you've got these amazing, beautiful characters that the fans really, really love. Let's delve into them just a little bit more, please. Can we please make this happen sometime before the end? In my last episode, I asked everyone to list their top five favorite characters. And this episode, I want to ask you, which characters would you have liked to see more of this season? And which characters could you have done without seeing this season? So the characters that I would like to have seen more of and not have been wiped off the map would have been Rowena, maybe Claire and Amara. I'd like to see Amara. And that's not in any specific order, but I love Rowena and I like Claire a great deal and Amara could really shift things in so many different ways. So why haven't we seen her? So what do you guys think, huh? Which three characters would you guys have liked to see 
more of this season? Or which three characters would you have liked to had more longevity in this season? Like I said, for example, Rowena. All right, so thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you subscribe. Let your friends know about our channel, Life After Neverland. Thanks again. I'll see you guys soon and happy St. Patrick's Day.